All right, you guys, Betsy here again. And today we're going to write equations for lines again. This time you're given the slope and you're given a point. Remember, to write the equation of a, a line using slope-intercept form, we need m and we need b. Well, we've got a good start because we're given m. So I'm going to start by putting m in the equation. y equals mx plus b. Now, if the x value of your order pair is zero, the other number, the y, represents b. So in this case, we don't have a lot of work to do. y equals negative 4x plus 1. And that's our equation. So when it, ding, 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 whenever the x value is zero in your order pair, the y value is your y-intercept. Let's take a look at the next one. We have y equals one half, or m equals one half, and the coordinate plane is negative two five. So m equals one half. So let's start to write our equation. y equals one half x plus b. And we're given a point. We're given an x and a y. So let's take that x and y and put it in for x and y in our equation. Just find another color here. So y is five. x is negative 2. And again, I got a fraction there, so I'm going to make that a fraction. Are we OK there? So I'm using the point negative 2, 5. So now, these will reduce down to 1s. So 1 times negative 1 is just negative 1 plus b. I'm solving for b, so I got to move that negative 1 to the other side. Let's neutralize it here by making this 0. So b equals 6. So again, I want to get b by itself. So if I got a negative 1, the only way to get rid of the negative 1 is to add 1. And that's what we did. So b is 6. So we can write our equation. y equals mx plus b. And there you go. How are we doing, everyone? So just as a refresher, you need the slope and you need the y-intercept in order to use slope-intercept form to write the equation of a line. So the equation of this line, to find it, you need the slope and the y-intercept. And remember, in your ordered pair, if the x is 0, the other number is your y-intercept. If it's not, then we got to go find it. we got to go to the equation. we got to find it. So let's take a look at the last problem here. I'm going to make some room here. OK, in the next problem, we are given the slope. And what's the slope? negative two thirds. So we're going to write m equals negative two thirds. So right away, write the equation with m in there. y equals m x plus b. And remember, this is y equals negative two thirds times x. We're times in there. There's no sign between the negative two thirds and the x. So we got to remember that that means multiplying. Now go look at your order pair. Is the x zero? No. So one is not our, our y-intercept, so we got to go find it. So I need to take this negative 3, 1, and put it in for x and y. Remember, the first number is x, the second number is y. So y is 1 equals negative 2 thirds times x, which is negative 3. Since that's negative 2 thirds is a fraction, I'll make this a fraction, plus b. Now I'm going to change the color here. Let's take our time. So here, 3 and 3 reduced down to 1s. So I get 1 equals negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 plus b. And we're solving for b, so I need to get rid of that positive 2. And how do I do that? I subtract it. So b equals 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So now that I have m and I have b, I can write my equation. y equals m 
x plus b. And again, it's minus one, so I just write minus one, which is the same as plus a negative one. And there you have it. How are we doing, everyone? Things to remember here, you need M and B to use slope-intercept form. If you don't have them, you got to go find them. If your ordered pair, the X value is zero, the Y value is your B intercept, or Y intercept, excuse me, like this. X is zero, so Y is your B, your Y intercept. All right, have an awesome day. Thank you for listening.